Exercise 16-20. Again, we're going to do just the operating activity section for a statement of cash flows. So the accounting records of CD Sales Incorporated include the following accounts. So notice we've got accumulated depreciation being shown as a T account and inside the accumulated depreciation we see depreciation expense then we see retained earnings as a T account and inside that we have net income increasing retained earnings. So we're going to compute CD's net cash provided or used for operating activities in July. Use the indirect method, use a minus sign or parentheses for amounts that result in a decrease in cash. And if a box is not used, leave it empty. So we always start with net income for the operating activity section. And we get income, net income over here from retained earnings, copy and paste. And don't forget our cheat sheet available on Canvas. So we're only doing the operating activity section, which is blown up here. We start with net income. We next add in depreciation. So let's see what our depreciation was. We have $2,000 of depreciation. We're going to add that back in. Let's see. There's depreciation expense. And if you forgot why we're adding back in depreciation, you go back and watch this video. But basically, we're adding it back in because depreciation is a, not, does not affect cash, but it reduced net income. So we have to back that out. How do you back out an expense? You add it back in. Next, according to our cheat sheet, we need to look for gains and losses on long-term assets and then back those out. Looking over here, I don't see any information about gains or losses on long-term assets. Next, we look for changes in current assets. So let's see if we can analyze these. So here's our first current asset, other than cash. So here's our beginning balance, and here's our ending balance. So it looks like AR went from 21,000, so it fell. So what would cause AR to decrease? Well, we must have collected cash. So we got decrease in AR. So if we collect the cash, cash went up. And the amount is the difference between 21,000 and 17,5. So decrease in AR is 3,500. Next, we got inventory. Which way did inventory go? Inventory went up from 20 to 30. So why would inventory go up? Because we must have bought inventory, which meant cash went down. So we're going to take the difference, which is 10,000, and put a negative. And that is an increase in inventory. Next, we have AP. Looks like AP went from 15 to 19. Let's compute or let's consult our cheat sheet. And if there's an increase in a liability, then cash, we're going to add that difference. And again, if you forgot why, go back and review these videos about or this video about current liabilities. Oh, I guess it's right here. Sorry. So the difference between this and this is 4,000. And that is an increase in AP. And we add those according to our cheat sheet. And then we're done. We've analyzed all the info here. So we're going to take 2,000, add 3,500, subtract 10,000, add 4,000, and that gives us a negative 500. So then we're going to take 50,000, subtract 500, and we get 49,500. 49, and this is positive. So our operating activities, in other words, the main part of our business, buying and selling, generated a positive $49,500 of cash for this company. And that is a positive sign. And that's it.